It's May and we are toning our whole body with no equipment today. Let's go! All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving and that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees, you guys. You guys, I'm excited about this one. Welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like love. And today, Today feels like love to me because we are doing one of my absolute favorite things. We are doing, we are doing something so good for you that you may or may not like it. <laughs> But, but I promise your body is going to love this one. We are doing full body, no equipment toning, and, and we're doing this in my absolute favorite way. Oh my gosh, by falling over. We are, ironically, we are focusing a little bit on balance today. <laughs> Which I know you can tell that I need to do still even after all these years you guys have been working on my balance for a good long time and I still absolutely consider it balance practice and I encourage you to think about it the same way. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers because here's what it looks like today. We are working on toning in a way that I want you to actually think about toning up your brain as well as your body. We are kind of turning things on their head today. I have a good, fun list of pretty much cardio exercises that we're going to do in a cardio way, but not like full on cardio, but then we're going to do them in a very strengthy toning way so that you can really feel how your body moves even when we're doing cardio that we are always, always, always strengthening and toning our bodies. If you are moving, you are toning, my friends. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home, welcome to Blossom's home. Here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for some pretty challenging intervals today and therefore at least part of the challenge honestly is going to be moderating yourself so that you can get all the way through this workout. I've got it set for 40 second intervals. The first interval of each exercise we're going to do at a cardio-ish pace. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to call it cardio because it is a long interval and I really don't want your heart rate up super high. I want you thinking about what we're doing but then the second interval of that same exercise, we're doing it at a fully strength pace. So we're really honing in on exactly which muscles are doing which things and that full brain body connection and that balance and core strengthening connection that is so, so, so good for us as we age. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Because we're taking this at a cardio-ish pace, honestly, it really is a lot more like a dynamic warm-up than a full-on cardio. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with wide open side kicks, which is just what it sounds like. We've got our hands moving wide open and we're doing a side kick. So your elbows are about the same height as your shoulders at some point in this long double interval. That's gonna to get tough. So you're welcome to have them a little bit lower, especially while we're doing the cardio part, or you could have them a little bit higher if you wanted to. I'm to keep mine lower <laughs> because that's what I want to do. But here's the thing, when it beeps, we're going to slow this way down and we're really going to focus on thinking about how when we pull our arms wide apart, when we have our elbows up at shoulder height, we're really engaging our big back muscles, the latissimus dorsi up in our middle back. So our thinking about standing here and hanging in this balanced position for just a quick second, I mean that was like three seconds, but, but for that moment in time where we're really feeling how our core pulls in because we're standing up straight and tall, we're zipping up that core. We're thinking about when we balance, how we unclench our toes, we unclench our knees, we don't lock our knees, and we really bring that work all the way up into our abs and glutes. Our big middle back muscles are keeping our shoulders and elbows at the same level. When it beeps, my friends, we're gonna move right into the cardio-ish version of forward hinge arm flappers. So hands up, we're gonna push our hips back and pull our hips forward. Now I am going, I, I hope this feels like extra moderate to you. It'll depend on how, it'll depend on how much you normally follow along with me. If you normally follow along with me at my pace, this is intended to be a little bit slower than that. If you frequently go a little bit slower than me, then make sure that you're still going slower than me. We are not trying to get our heart rate up super duper high. We're moderating. We might even be modifying today, but we're really thinking about how our body is moving through space and time. 
This is, this is one of my favorite things about being a fitness instructor. And then here we go even slower. So hands all the way up, thinking about getting those biceps all the way next to your ears, thinking about using those big back muscles, thinking about using those big hip and glute muscles to push, 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 push your hips back. <sighs> we're breathing. And then we're bringing those hips forward, 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 while also squeezing from those big back muscles to bring your arms back up. This is a deadlift, my friends, with the added challenge of having your hands doing those jumping jack arms, which means that we are absolutely working the full rear chain. When it beeps again, we're gonna be doing something I call shooting stars. <laughs> So what we're doing is we're tipping over to one side. It's basically a disco dancer with a flying leg. <laughs> so, so you've got one arm and its opposite leg kicking out at the same time across your body. It means, of course, that we're thinking about pulling in our core. While we're doing the cardio-ish version, it can be a little bit faster. We don't have to think quite so hard about balance, but oh my goodness, you can tell. <laughs> you can already tell what this is going to feel like when we are doing the non-cardio version, when we are doing the strength and toning Version. We're going to think about pulling our arm up and out by using our big chest muscles as well as our back muscles. And of course, when we're balancing on one foot and leaning out to the side, oh, we're engaging our core, we're engaging our glutes, we're even using our inner and outer thighs a little bit right here. You guys, this this to me is my favorite thing about being a fitness trainer. You know, I think there are, I think there are literally thousands of fitness trainers who are more than happy to tell you to go, 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 go hard, jump, do, do things fast and furious. And yes, of course, we're going to get stronger by picking up heavy things and putting them back down again. When it beeps, by the way, we're going into a cardio ish version of middle skips. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're skipping, but we're not jumping at all. So you're going to bring one hand and one knee up at the same time while the other hand and then the other knee comes up. So a little bit of a middle skip here. I'm actually going to keep my hands a little bit lower than that. When, when we do the, the strength version, I'm going to have my hand all the way up but right now for cardio. <laughs> right now for cardio, I'm giving my shoulders a little bit of a break. But here's the thing about being this age, my friends. We can still go hard. We can still jump. We can still do lots of things. But the thing that's really, really good for us is to think about where we're going to be in the next few years and whether or not we'd still like to be on our feet and whether or not we would like to prevent falls and whether or not we would like to really improve our balance. When it beeps, of course, we're doing this middle skip in the slow strength version. <laughs> okay, which means that I'm bringing my hand all the way up while having that knee all the way up hanging here for a quick second and then switching sides. Do you feel that work in your whole shoulder complex? Do you feel that work, of course, in your standing leg, bringing it all the way up into your abs and glutes? Excellent job. I'm finding myself kind of going back and forth on this brain-body connection, thinking about both my lower body, because of course I want to bring all this work up into the middle part of my body. And then, oh yes, there's my shoulders doing the work too. When in doubt, take a little bit longer in the position. Here we go with a push, push, crunch. So push and push and crunch, push, push and crunch. I will tell you when we're doing the strength version of this, the push is still going to be kind of fast. <laughs> we're really going to focus on that crunching position because when I do this in a cardio version, I notice that I'm kind of just relying on momentum to kind of keep me hanging there and I'm not really using my abs and obliques quite as much as we will when we do the slower version but I'm doing a little bit of push push crunch right now and I know that this is I know that this is awkward no matter what pace we're going <laughs> it's one of my favorite exercises but it is weirdly timed so we're doing push push and crunch real slow, really thinking about squeezing right there in your obliques and then push and push and crunch. Feel where your arms are, feel where your shoulder blades are, feel where your hip and your leg muscles are. Push, push, crunch. How long can you squeeze and stand there? A couple of seconds? I know it's not easy. It's not supposed to be. This is why we're doing it. I know. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing ski jumps at the cardio-ish version, which means it's, it's not a squat, but it's a little bit of a crouch. And then as we're coming up, we're coming up on our tiptoes. So we're skiing our arms back. And we're going to really think about that when we're doing the strength and toning version. 
and then we're reaching up overhead. So it's a little bit of a crouch, a little bit of a bend forward. It's kind of a, honestly, it's kind of a cross between a squat and a deadlift motion. That's just how, how little you're squatting and how much your hips are pushing back. When we are doing the toning version, we're really gonna think about coming up on our tiptoes uh -huh, at the top of this motion. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> so let's think about our triceps right now, pulling those arms back. As we come up, 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 up on your tiptoes. How long can you hang here? And then let's go ahead and release it down. Really think about your glutes. Your butt is driving this motion and then your triceps are too, <laughs> the backs of your arms as you extend your arms fully behind you. And then we're coming back up, 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 up. Hips come forward and here come your toes all the way up. See if you can get your biceps all the way next to your ears and then we come down, down, down. When it beeps again, we're going into letter K's. Both hands up. Reaching out one side with that same hand and that same leg. Excellent job. No matter how fast or slow you go on this one, your hands are above your head, which means that we're engaging our shoulders. If you'd like to do a lower, a lowercase k, that would be totally fine with me. I want you to get the most out of this workout without overextending yourself. Anytime you need to modify in addition to moderating, my friends, of course you should. Make this workout work for you so that you can come back and do something like this again and again, day after day, so that you can get your weight loss goals. Here we go with the toning version, hanging there to the side, making sure that your toes aren't clenched on the ground. That first time we come into it, I know, any balance pose, my toes totally want to take over the work. My toes wish that they could do all of the balancing for me. <laughs> and that really is the problem, my friends. <laughs> your balance actually comes from the middle of your body. It comes from your abs, your deep core stabilizers. When it beeps again, we're doing swimming frogs, which means that we're going to have our hands up above our heads again. So I'm going to take a quick second to let my shoulders relax briefly while we're doing the cardio-ish version. I'm going to keep my hands a little bit lower. So we've got our hands starting. They're supposed to start up overhead, but what we're doing, I'm just going kind of low here. Your arms are almost in like a W out to the sides here. We're bringing up one high knee out to the side and then the other. Now I call these swimming frogs because originally I called them oblique pull downs, starting with your hands up overhead and then, you know, making that big pull down motion and then having the one knee come up to the side. It's what it was. I mean, it. <laughs> what it is. We're working our obliques. We're pulling down. That was a really good title, right? Like that was a really good exercise name. And then my friend Zoe was like, it reminds me of a swimming frog. And it totally does. <laughs> you guys, you have some of the best names for exercises, even better than the ones that I can come up with. So here's our toning version. Really starting with those hands up overhead so that you can really feel your shoulder blades in your back really pulling down, 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 keeping those elbows out wide as you can. Of course, we're balancing, which means that you're bringing that work up into your abs and glutes. And then having that one knee out to the side really forces your hips to do some work too. When it beeps again, we're doing Drinky Bird Jacks favorite. You know how much I love that exercise. I'm not even going to apologize for it. I love it. I love it so much. Drinky bird jacks means that our hands are doing jumping jacks and your lower body is doing what I call drinky birds. It's a single leg deadlift. Your leg is flying up behind you and when your leg pulls up behind you, your torso has absolutely no choice at all but to tip forward. We're really controlling this motion by not just leaning forward. I frequently see people trying to bend forward as though, as though that's going to make your leg come up higher behind you. It doesn't. What makes your leg come up higher behind you? You'll notice when we're doing the toning version of this exercise, what makes your leg come up higher behind you is having a very strong butt. You're going to squeeze your butt muscles to raise that leg behind you. Oh my gosh. And so I'm going to start with the slower version right now coming up. Okay. Hands up shoulder blades engaged. As we come down, really thinking about squeezing, squeezing, squeezing from those glute muscles to pull your leg up back behind you. 
Now the thing about this is that it's real easy to accidentally open up your leg really wide out to the side to get a little bit better balance. Everybody, everybody I've ever met wants to have their toes pointed out to the side. I will tell you that in order to really truly work on your balance, you want to make sure that your toe is pointed at the ground the entire time. My friends, we're doing toy soldiers. Yes. Hands up again. I know. I know. Lots of hands up today. In fact, I'm going to keep mine a little bit lower on this one. I'm almost going to do like a, almost like a punch. <laughs> on this one rather than having hands up. Give yourself whatever kind of a break you need to give yourself to be able to do this work, both cardio and toning. When it beeps, we're doing the strength and toning version of Toy Soldiers. So hands are gonna go up for me. You're reaching your opposite hand towards your opposite kicking foot. Now for me, it's kind of funny because I used to have such a hard time balancing when one of my legs was out to the side. That lateral balance used to give me so much trouble. I have practiced it so much much that now, quite frankly, <laughs> the leg forward balance is significantly harder for me, especially in a pose like this where the leg is allegedly straight. Mine is not. My knees are both bending because my hamstrings are not especially flexible. Ah, really thinking on this one very specifically, thinking about pulling up your leg by squeezing and engaging your quadriceps, the tops of your thighs. This is a knee strengthener, my friends. When it beeps again, we're doing punch, punch, kick which is exactly what it sounds like. I mean, that is truly one of the most descriptive exercise names I've ever used. We're punching and punching and kicking. Punching, punching, and kicking. I'm taking this at a cardio-ish pace. You are welcome at this point in the workout because, oh my gosh, because we don't really have very much left to it, you are welcome to figure out what kind of a pace seems like it's working best for you. When it beeps, of course, we're going to do this punch, punch, kick at a nice toning and strength pace, really thinking about where our arm is moving, what kind of muscles, and I will tell you, it's your chest muscles <laughs> that has your arm pushing forward like this, and then that kicking, little bit of offset lateral because we are balancing with it, but also a little bit forward. In fact, let me do that again. Forward. So punch and punch and kick. Oh, good golly. Punch and punch and kick. So much more challenging than just doing the cardio version. Am I right? Pulling in your core, thinking about where this work is coming from. When it beeps again, we're going to go back to that cardio-ish pace with overhead to high knees. Another one that really, truly just describes exactly what it is. Our hands are going to start up overhead. We're going to bring them both down to one high knee and then the other. And you are welcome at this point in the workout if your shoulders are saying, oh, hey, I notice all the toning we've been doing today. You can keep your hands a little bit lower. This is another one where we are having more forward motion than side to side motion. I notice my myself rocking a little bit. So I'm going to really think about keeping this motion straight up and down, especially while we're doing the toning version. Being able to bring that knee directly up in front of you rather than twisting off to the side is its own individual skill set. Really thinking about where your body is and how it's moving. Hands up. Can you get your biceps next to your ears? Core pulled in tight. We come down slow. Knee is up straight in front of you. Core is pulled in tight, really bringing that work up into your abs and glutes. Your glutes is your butt, by the way. I don't know if you know that. You guys, you guys, when it beeps again, oh, I've got one final thing for us. We are done, but we're not quite finished. I've got even more balance for us, but you're going to love this. We're doing balance. I love this so much. I'm falling over. We're doing balance with our hands down. We're doing around the world kicks. And in fact, I'm going to do this the easy way because I did not want to have to do 40 seconds on one side. We're going to alternate. So forward kick, side kick, back kick, and then go ahead and put that foot down. Forward kick side kick and back kick on the other side. I'm going to see if I can have my hands maybe just right here at my waist. Different kind of challenge. Thinking about moving at a pace that feels toning and balancing E, not necessarily cardio-ish. I know that I'm moving a little bit fast because I really have had a lot of challenge 
with this balance today. It feels good to move at that pace, my friends. Oh my gosh, what a great, great job you did. It's fun to do something a little bit out of the box, right? Let's go ahead and do some arm circles. I know you've had your hands up the whole time, but let's go ahead and stretch them out and do some nice arm circles here. I love doing something different. I love, love, love challenging my brain as much as my body. It's very interesting to me as I've gotten older to do different kinds of work. You know, when we're younger, it's really easy to just just hop on the elliptical or you know pick up some weights and put them back down again like just kind of kind of move your body through the motion but when we're really 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 paying attention to the motion is when we get the most benefit from all of our workouts now now that you've made that brain body connection you'll totally notice it the next time we're doing cardio that you'll feel what parts of your body are working let's go ahead and do some arm openers and then close them up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on your back. What a good job you did today. Of course, I have an extended cool down here for you. And of course, on the other side of the screen, I have everything you need to know about losing weight at 50 and beyond. You guys, thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you click the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.